Hey YouTube, it's a little update here. Um, uh, we adjusted the valves. Uh, thank you to a YouTuber that told my last video that commented on the valve adjustment specs. We adjusted on my works. It worked great. I want to thank you very much for that. I really appreciate your comments and taking time out to help me. Um, it, it really, it's just really nice for somebody to help out, you know. Um, as you can see, it's it's the plastics are not all the, the fronts not mounted. I'm just putting it on there temporary. Okay, so now and now I checked the compression. It's 130 psi, so that's really good. So it was the valves that were losing compression. Um, a very fit, a simple, easy job. Um, it's still uh, the carburetor. I cleaned it out really good, but we're gonna tune it so it runs and doesn't want to cut off. And it needs carburetor work, like tuning and adjusting. Um, if anybody does any, know anything about the, uh, the handlebar adjuster right here, like if I adjust this, it'll idle higher or lower. If there's a factory setting on this, I'm not sure. But I do know the carburetor is two turn, two and a half turns out, and then I think you start turning it in a quarter turn in every time. Um, uh, right now, the, this is this is what I want to know what should be adjusted because I'm not sure if it should what should be all the way in, half out, five turns out, five turns in. If anybody knows, if they can find that or have one and tell me if you you can you tell me how what setting it's on, like. That would really be awesome. I'm not sure what it just goes up to your throttle. Um, I would like to sell this actually, but um, once I get it running really good, it'll be worth 400, 500 bucks. And I'm uh, thinking about selling it because I saw somebody on uh, Craigslist with a, uh, a Suzuki, no Kawasaki Bayou 250. So I don't know. Good deals are coming. I just need to be there for it when I have the money. So either I'll keep this one or sell it. Most likely I'll probably try to sell it. Um, it's a good four-wheeler though. I mean, it's not bad. The compression's good. 130 psi. That's good compression. That's 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 almost new. I think 150 is brand new. So it's only lost 20 psi in like how would it say, like 15, 16 years. It'll need the oil changed, but uh, I'll change the oil probably. And it says. It'll need oil and spark plug, but nothing biggie. Um, there's the panel right there. There's my helmet. But uh, that's sort of the update. I mean, as you can see, look at it. It's covered in mud. I had a little fun in the mud. <laughs> Ended up getting it on everything. It was really so saturated ground. So, But that's an update. So if anybody can help me with the throttle thing. Um, once I get it completely... Uh, running right I'll make videos of me riding it and stuff like that and uh, I'll probably sell it on Craigslist for 400 500 bucks because I would like to get a bigger one but the uh, Kawasaki Bayou needs work like you know just oil leak but I'm thinking it's me it might have a crack in it because like not this one but the one I'm looking at but it's 400 bucks so that'd be a good deal just to get rid of this for 400 and get that one I'm not sure but it is what it is and I don't have to put up with it Either I'd like to get a Honda Recon, Honda Foreman, or Honda, any any Honda, maybe some Kawasaki's, or Polaris, and either way, I don't want another Yamaha, I'd probably like to get a, I like Polaris, Polaris is what I grew up on, so, but times are tough, don't have the money, so I got what I could get, and um, I mean, f dude, it's fast, okay, for 125cc, you don't think it's fast, this is really fast, this probably goes like 35 to 40 miles per hour. And I just want to say, yeah, thanks for watching. Help me out. Leave comments below. Thanks, and see you later.